Okay, Mum, what, so what are you doing here? Well, this is vinegar and water. Just a cup of vinegar and not too much water. And this is what I do my wooden floors with. These are engineered wood with the vinegar and water. Very pure, no chemicals. It's the best thing you can use for cleaning. You can dry it off with a towel. If you're fit and you can get down on your hands and knees, dry it with a towel and the shine will come up. Or you can wait till it's dry and use one of these. And it's dry, this, and it's an easy way of doing it. And then the shine, as you can see, it won't be streaky. As you can see, there's no streaks and it brings it up like new again, your floor. That way it's clean, it's environmentally friendly, it's friendly for the cats because, as you know, our animals' little noses are very close to the floor. So, there we go. For dogs and cats. That way you're not poisoning yourselves or your animals with poisonous gases all through the house. Uh -huh. So well, tell us about what you're doing here. Well, I'm steaming the floor, and this is the best thing you can do when you have animals, because there's no floor cleaners or chemicals, absolutely nothing. Just the steam is cleaning the floor, so it's just water on your tile floor. I personally, with animals, don't like carpets. I find they collect the dust, they're toxic, even when you first put them down, there's the smell of the glue or the, the smell of the carpet, and our animals are inhaling that. But sometimes, if we move into home and the carpets are there, it's a very expensive thing to do, to have to pull all the carpets up and clean them. So what I do with my carpets upstairs is I always use a steam cleaner. I don't use any of the carpet cleaners. I just use pure steam, as I do on the kitchen floor, and the bathroom tile floors, I use a steam cleaner to clean the carpets. And that if you have got any marks on, use some vinegars, uh, vinegar with water and really sort of give it a good scrub and then pour water on, because carpets will take water. Keep pouring the water, get white towels and blot it all up jump on it until it all comes up and you've got no more stain on the white towels and then just go over it with the carpet steamer. Put the vinegar on the granite or you can put it on the cloth and you'll find that this with the granite cleans very well. It's not too dirty because I don't let, I try to clean the granite tops every day. If you get any marks on your cooker Right. Like the marks if on. something boils over, right. you can get the marks off with the baking soda. Particularly up here, so I'm just put the powder on and I'm going to pour the vinegar directly on there. As you can see, the marks are coming off now. A bit of elbow grease goes a long way. Mark the other. Get that bit off. Pour a little more on. Good, isn't it? Yeah. That's super cheap, isn't it? Very cheap. Patrick. Super cheap, isn't it? That's well, cheaper than buying all those bloody products. Well, you spend a it? lot on them. Cleaning products, if you add up over bloody the con, year. Bloody con, aren't they? They're a bloody con, mum. Yeah, but they're not healthy. That's the thing. They're dangerous for our animals and also for humans. Right. You know, it doesn't. It, the animals it affects because they've got very small dogs like Chihuahuas. They're inhaling off the floor all those chemicals. But not only that, when you use cleaning things for the tops and the cooker, strong cleaning products, they are going. Also, the smell of them's going all through the house. You can't always smell it, but they can, and it's very dangerous. They're inhaling and inhaling all these chemical poisons. So use vinegar and water. It's the best thing you can use and it does clean well and you